my name is Abby Lynch and I'm the Teen Services Librarian at the Brookfield Library here for another week of Teen Book Talks. This week we're doing another theme that is based on our One Town One Read companion book, Return to Sender by Julia Alvarez. This is the companion title for tweens and teens. Um, the title for the whole town, um, so recommended for high school and up, is Afterlife by Julia Alvarez. And in both of these books, the characters are dealing with grief um, in many different forms. In this book, Tyler is grieving for his grandfather who has passed away, but Mari is also grieving because she's separated from her mother. So this week, I put together a list of other books from our teen section that deal with the topic of grief. We have a lot of programs coming up around the One Town One Read and um, our author visits with Julia Alvarez in May. I hope you'll check those out. You can find the full schedule events online at brookfieldlibrary.org. Um, all of the books that I'm mentioning today are available at the library. We are open. You can come in to browse and check things out. Um, or if you're still interested in doing curbside service, we are still offering that. You can place your holds online, again, at brookfieldlibrary.org. Or you can call 203-775-6241. We'll get those out for you curbside. Um, today's first book is Dancing at the Pity Party, a Dead Mom Graphic Memoir by Tyler Fetter. From before her mother's first oncology appointment through the stages of her cancer to the funeral, sitting Shiva, and afterward, when she must try to make sense of her life as a motherless daughter, Tyler Fetter tells her story in this graphic novel that is full of piercing but often funny details. She shares the important post-death firsts, such as celebrating holidays without her mom, the utter despair of cleaning out her mom's closet, ending old traditions and starting new ones, and the sting of having the I've got to tell mom about this instinct and not being able to act on it. This memoir is for anyone who's struggling with loss who just wants someone to get it. I'll flip through so you can get a feel for the artwork. This cover is great. So it's a book about death and grief, but I love that it's still very brightly colored. Um, I love the art style here. So that's Dancing at the Pity Party by Tyler Fetter. The next book has a secondary connection to Return to Sender because it's also epistolary, which means that it uh, takes place, the storytelling takes place through letters or documents. And that's Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. It begins as an assignment for English class. Write a letter to a dead person. Laurel chooses Kurt Cobain because her sister May loved him and he died young, just like May did. Soon, Laurel has a notebook full of letters to people like Janis Joplin, Amy Winehouse, Amelia Earhart, Heath Ledger, and more, though she never gives a single one of them to her teacher. She writes about starting high school, navigating new friendships, falling in love for the first time, learning to live with her splintering family, and finally, about the abuse she suffered while May was supposed to be looking out for her. Only then, once Laurel has written down the truth about what happened to herself, can she truly begin to accept what happened to May. And only when Laurel has begun to see her sister as the person she was, lovely and amazing and deeply flawed, can she begin to discover her own path. So that's Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. Next up we have I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. We have two copies of this, one in the regular collection, but this is our margin copy collection so that means we do have a copy that if you want to check it out and write in it while you're reading you can make your thoughts and comments in the margins and read what other people have to say as well you can um, do that these margin project books can't be placed on hold you have to either come in and check them out or call to let us know that that's the copy that you want but we do have uh, I am not your perfect Mexican daughter in that collection so I hope you'll check that copy out Perfect Mexican daughters do not go away to college, and they do not move out of their parents' house after high school graduation. Perfect Mexican daughters never abandon their family. But Julia is not your perfect Mexican daughter. That was Olga's role. Then a tragic accident on the busiest street in Chicago leaves Olga dead and Julia left behind to reassemble the shattered pieces of her family. And no one seems to acknowledge that Julia is broken too. Instead, her mother seems to channel her grief into pointing out every possible way Julia has failed. But it's not long before Julia discovers that Olga might not have been as perfect as everyone thought. With the help of her best friend Lorena and her first kiss, first love, first everything boyfriend Connor, Julia is determined to find out. Was Olga really what she seemed? Or was there more to her sister's story? 
And either way, how can Julia even attempt to live up to a seemingly impossible ideal? So that's I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. And we have a copy in our regular collection and in the Margin Project collection. Next up is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. Lee Chen Sanders is absolutely certain about one thing. When her mother died by suicide, she turned into a bird. Lee, who is half Asian and half white, travels to Taiwan to meet her maternal grandparents for the first time. There, she is determined to find her mother, the bird. In her search, she winds up chasing after ghosts, uncovering family secrets, and forging a new relationship with her grandparents. And as she grieves, she must try to reconcile the fact that on the same day that she kissed her best friend and longtime secret crush Axel, her mother was taking her own life. Alternating between real and magic, past and present, friendship and romance, hope and despair, The Astonishing Color of Ever After is a novel about finding oneself through family history, art, grief, and love. So that's The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. Next up we have History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera and we all know that you always need tissues when you're reading Adam Silvera books and I think this one's no exception. When Griffin's first love and ex-boyfriend Theo dies in a drowning accident, his universe implodes. Even though Theo had moved to California for college and started seeing Jackson, Griffin never doubted Theo would come back to him when the time is right. But now the future he's been imagining for himself has gone far off course. To make things worse, the only person who truly understands this heartache is Jackson. But no matter how much they open up to each other, Griffin's downward spiral continues. He's losing himself in his obsessive compulsions and destructive choices, and the secrets he's been keeping are tearing him apart. If Griffin is ever to rebuild his future, he must first confront his history, every last heartbreaking piece in the puzzle of his life. And History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera is also available in audiobook format on Hoopla. Last up, we have a book with a title tailor-made for our theme this week, Sorry For Your Loss by Jesse Ann Foley. As the youngest of eight, painfully average Pup Flanagan is used to flying under the radar. He's barely passing his classes. He lets his longtime crush walk all over him, and he's in no hurry to decide on a college path. The only person who ever made him think he could be more was his older brother Patrick, the family's golden child. But that was before Patrick died suddenly, leaving Pup with a family who won't talk about it and acquaintances who just keep saying, sorry for your loss. But when Pup excels at photography assignments he thought he'd bomb, things start to come into focus. His dream girl shows her true colors. An unexpected friend exposes Pup to a whole new world right under his nose. And the photograph that was supposed to show Pup a way out of his grief ultimately reveals someone else who is stuck in their own. Someone with a secret regret Pup never could have imagined. So that's Sorry for Your Loss by Jesse Ann Foley, and this book is also available in ebook and audiobook format on Hoopla. So those are our books about grief today. I hope you check them out if you're interested and participate in our One Town One Read um, of Afterlife or Return to Sender by Julia Alvarez. And please come to all of our great upcoming programs and the author visit with Julia Alvarez. We'd love to see you there. You can find all the details at brookfieldlibrary.org. And until next time, have a great week.